risks were allowed to build up. In cases like Greece, it was a fiscal risk. In, in Spain and Ireland, it were more risks in the banking system, financial sector. Portugal was, was somewhere in between. These risks were allowed to build up. And when the crisis hit, we realized that we did not have mechanisms to deal with those, but that the ability to deal with these problems still rested at the national level. If we talk about fiscal policy, we need some sort of central fiscal capacity, but we need to recognize that this should not be a way of, of fiscal transfers from some country to, to another. This risk sharing should go hand in hand with the strengthening of adherence to the rules. And here we clearly think that one can do better in terms of enforcing the SGP. Secondly, we need common backstops for the deposit insurance, the resolution board. And here again, I think this will only happen if it goes hand in hand with risk reduction. Here I think, for instance, about non-performing loans and, and banks' holdings of, of papers of sovereign uh, papers from their own government. The Spanish and, and Irish program are mainly to deal with problems in the financial sector that had arisen because of this excessive risk taking in the financial sector. Uh, the, the, the program managed uh, to do so. The Greek program was much more f focused on what had been an, a, a, an incredibly large increase in the fiscal deficit uh, and that proved more, more painful. Uh, Portugal were somewhat in between in terms of the, of, 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 of the problem. Here I think generally also the Portuguese was, program was, was, was quite successful.